Hello Star Bear Cups. Today I will be doing a reading using only the Soul's Journey Lesson Cards by James Van Praa. I'm sorry James, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. And the focus of, of this deck is energy and feelings. And each energy or feeling has a mandala attached to it. It's a very, very beautiful deck. And the reading I'm going to do is actually one of the suggested readings from the booklet. And it's, so it's a soul's journey spread. Um, and I explained in my moon messages that when I do these readings focusing on a particular deck, it's to honor that deck and all the work and wisdom and energy and love that was poured into these decks and there's just so much um, clarity and enlightenment and insight that these decks can give all on their own. So I will do this reading and we will read straight from the book to see what the book has to say for whoever this message resonates, for whoever felt drawn to this particular message at this particular time. So for this reading, the bottom row is going to be the energy that's currently at play in your life, the present energy. And the top row is the energy of the future, the potential outcome, and the middle will be the transition or possible obstacle between the present and the future. It's very, very interesting. So this could be the first thing you think of. This could be something that unfolds as we go along here. So the energy that's currently at play, your present energy, is loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Now this could be what you actually feel or this could be an encouragement right now as you may be feeling lonely. <laughs> then death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. and forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Okay, so this is your current energy at play, the present energy. So for loneliness, we have this card has come to you because you must be reminded that there's a difference between being lonely and being alone. Feelings of loneliness originate from a sense of not appreciating the most important person in your life, you. If solitude seems like an affliction, you need to work on creating a healthy relationship with yourself. Only then will you attract others who will nurture your soul. If you don't develop a healthy relationship with yourself first, you will only draw unhealthy relationships to you. To create a healthy, positive relationship with yourself, you must begin to feel worthy of love. The pessimism of this physical dimension can affect your self-esteem if you don't have the strong conviction that you are valuable and meaningful. Don't view solitude as a weakness. It is merely your soul telling you that it is time to do some inner work and reevaluate your path before you start to shine. As you sit in the silence of your soul, you will realize that your spirit family, teachers, and guides are with you. You are never alone. Beautiful message. For death, we have... Death is an illusion. It's a fact of life that the human body we use to travel the earth must eventually stop working. It's not meant to exist forever. The energy and consciousness that inhabited that body is free and returns to its natural home, but it never abandons us. Learn to view death as merely a change, and everything must change because stagnancy extinguishes progress. The same is true for a relationship or career. A soul lesson may be completed and it is time to move beyond this point of familiarity and expand into new horizons of learning and development. This is a wonderful opportunity to thank those other souls in your life who have shared part of your path and taught you so much. Okay, so we're starting to get a, a, big, a broader picture of the energy currently at play right now. There's some loneliness, perhaps feelings of being left out in the cold and the need for transition and change. Now we have forgiveness. Forgiveness. 
You can never flow with your natural energy of love unless you release the negative energy of hate, anger, intolerance, or blame. Every soul in your path has free will and you have no control over that. What you do have control over is how you react to the manifestation of others' free will. Holding on to that negative energy will strengthen karmic cycles, and forgiveness can break that pattern. The most important person you must learn to forgive is always yourself. Blaming yourself for failures blocks the natural flow of love, which will attract all good things into your life. Okay. Now we're going to look at um, the top row, actually, the energy of the future or potential outcome. We're going to do that first, and then we will find out what the obstacle is. So what is the energy of the future, potential outcome of this situation? Or somebody was hurt, left out in the cold, needs to forgive or needs forgiveness. Oops, I must move the camera here. And here's the failure card. I was wondering about that since um, the forgiveness card was talking about how we feel about our failures. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Now don't take this to mean that a potential outcome is going to be failure. I see this as saying that the potential outcome is you gaining the understanding that whatever mistake was made that required forgiveness, you understanding that it was an opportunity to learn something, whether it was somebody else who failed you, or you failed someone else, or you failed yourself, or you attempted to do something and perceived it was a failure, then take what you can from that situation and learn from it. So that is the a potential outcome. And then we have change. Isn't that funny? Because that's really what death is. It's changing. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. And then for potential outcome, we have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Okay, and death is what encourages the movement. It ends something that's stagnant or unhealthy and encourages change and growth. Wow, that's wonderful as a potential outcome. And oh my goodness, we have success. I know that there's no greater goal than to love. Wow. Okay, this is starting to get a little creepy, actually, <laughs> because for the current energy um, above forgiveness, we have success and forgiveness is I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. And then success is knowing there's no greater goal than to love. We don't want to block the flow to love because really the greatest success in the world is learning how to love. So I love, I love how these cards came out. And then we also have this classic dichotomy, failure and success. Interestingly, both in the potential outcome. So read this, hear this. Perceive this how you will, whatever feels right. Perhaps for some of you, a potential outcome is something you might perceive as a failure, but ultimately nothing is a failure because we are all on the right path towards wherever it is we're going, wherever it is we're meant to go, we will get there. Some of us sooner than others, slower than others, some quicker or faster, seemingly easier, but really it's not and we will all get to where we're going. And so now the million dollar question is, what is the transition or the possible obstacle between the present and the future? The transition or possible obstacle between the present and the future. Let's see what we get. What is the transition or possible obstacle? Okay, wow, got several cards here. We got grief as a transition, as part of the transition, no doubt. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And yes, death is definitely, if we're not talking about literal death, which, you know, I can't say for sure, but 
the death of something, a relationship, a career, a project, an idea, a hope, a dream, always brings on grief. Because grief is losing something that we love, losing something that we poured so much effort and love into, and um, it perhaps never came to fruition, or it did, but then we lost it, or it fizzled out. So grief sounds to me like a very necessary transition and possibly obstacle. I mean, really, we all grieve in our own time. In a, we have our own time frame for how long that takes. And you should never rush yourself. So hopefully you don't see it as an obstacle, but rather a natural part of the transition that needs to happen to get from A to B. And then we have surrender. I could release my need to control. Yeah. This card basically... The concept of surrender has been coming up a lot because a lot of changes are happening around us and it's easier for us to simply go with the flow and not resist. Unless, of course, it's something really negative happening in the world that needs to be resisted and changed. But in your own personal life, if there are positive changes coming, just to surrender to them. Pride is another transition or possible obstacle. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. That seems like a transition step. To love yourself and to see yourself in everyone. And by loving yourself, that also means a few things. It means that you forgive yourself. And by forgiving yourself, you are freeing yourself up to forgive others, thereby freeing yourself. And to also learn to love yourself and to be enough. Then you perhaps won't feel as alone. And so, that is a transition step for you. And then we have self-esteem, which goes hand in hand, I would say, with pride. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Learning to share your gifts and abilities and your love and your wisdom, that will help you get to these potential outcomes, the change that you need, the success in whatever it is that you're trying to do, there will be success. And understanding that your past mistakes were only an opportunity to learn and actually helped you get to where you're going. They helped you get to your success. So I'm going to end the reading there. I hope this was helpful and resonated for you. And if it did resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. And also you can hit the bell, which will give you notifications when I make other videos like this one. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And best of luck to you as you make your transition towards your goal, your success, and your necessary change. Love and light to you.